Hello guys, in next part of how to make more uh, stronger ships and <coughs> this one is about this kind of transport system you can see there are uh, expandos, two loaders, demo turret and some transport system so it's quite standard uh, system but this part doesn't have one very important and very cheap compared to other items you know the hatches are very cheap compared to loaders so i think it's very important to build some hatches here behind uh, expandos so one second i will destroy items and now i can place uh, hatches and you can see that they will add so much health. I think one hatch is 250 health. So this is 1000 health difference. And when it comes to, for example, scatter ammo, it's gonna be 55 bullets, almost 55 bullets to, you know, to destroy this hatch, this four hatch. Uh, so yeah, this is big difference. And second important part is here, loader is closer to wall, outer wall. Usually, I try to uh, build loader uh, as far as possible. And I think this is a small thing, but sometimes there is, uh, there is, you can, you can choose where to build something. Should it be closer on or further away from damage? So, yeah. One second, this sandbox building will uh, be annoying. Okay. It will take some time because placing expando is annoying. Hmm. One second. Yeah. In normal game, it's easier without no fly because wall does prevent uh, me from using hatch i cannot use hatch when i'm behind wall okay two more expandos and then i will uh, also fill them with ammo because ammo i think uh, when expando is hit by bullet it will take one uh, it will take this bullet and it's gonna drop one item from expando but i'm not sure so we will see okay so first i'm gonna load every expando and then i'm gonna destroy this ship with uh, with scatter ammo and we will compare how much how many uh, loaders i lost on this side which has no hatches and how many loaders i lost here and in general how much damage i took uh, this both both sides are very strong because they have blocks loaders have some health there are blocks as well here so this is very very strong uh, very hard to kill design if you have nets here then it's way way weaker and it's really hard to destroy automated ship which have you know everything done right so yeah uh, often people will r run out of ammo okay i'm gonna start shooting 32 bullets and you can see i start losing this wall yeah i lose this uh, loaders inside um maybe not not yet but you can see they are very we very weak and yeah it was very heavy beating now i'm gonna change side here are hatches behind and let's see how much damage they gonna absorb and you can see here it's wall missing okay so i was shooting in this expando it's important because you can see i lost some sniper ammo but it was reloaded so okay i will try to shoot here I 
I try to shoot in one spot. So yeah, we can see here I was less lucky, but there are some patches still in, in place and also wall is uh, not damaged. So there is this difference because it would take more bullets to destroy whole wall and get to inner part where would be uh, where there are factories. And this is important because the worst case is when you have a lot of metal, a lot of, I don't know, people healing and you lose factory because there is, because you don't have, you know, this outer wall. So yeah. Uh, this is important to build these hatches because usually people have limited ammunition and also uh, limited relo reloading speed because even if they have two reloaders, uh, they're gonna run out of ammo after some while. So if you keep healing, 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 at some point they will be out of ammo and they will have to wait and you will have chance to escape unless there is whole fleet beating you. So try to always place some hatches, some replace nets with blocks or doors or you know anything. Place anything if you have extra space. And I'm not sure if there is anything I can add to this series. Uh, one more trick you can try to do is something I call reactive armor. This is concept from my friend, but to present it, I have to go to go somewhere else. So one second, I will show it because I think this is interesting. I haven't played with with this, you know, with this reactive armor, but I want to show you maybe it's it's good or maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, the concept is that item items can uh, take bullet. So having uh, having some items laying here can can take some damage. One second. I will drop some items here. So for example, if you are farming, there is. A hatcher, there are hatches here and yeah they're gonna you will get some shitty items which you don't need but usually you, you would not collect them and yeah now if I'm gonna hit these items with auto turret auto turret and slug ammo these items will take this damage okay now I'm gonna shoot Hmm, I cannot hit this metal. Ah, okay, I forgot to turn off no fly. Okay, and you can see there are items dropping. And if I'm gonna be somewhere here, it's possible that this ship, I will hit this box instead of hitting, you know, instead of hitting ship inside blocks, I'm gonna hit this metal falling for example now this my shot was blocked so this is something you could try to experiment with but i'm not sure if it's gonna be very good but for sure it's, it can be annoying because in the past i had situations where someone was dropping so many items which i couldn't collect that i couldn't damage them anymore because there were too many some shitty items Let's try with scatter ammo, because scatter ammo will destroy these items, but there will be shower of items. Yeah, now I'm hitting these boxes. So this is something you can experiment. So basically, uh, I'm a beginner, but it's not going to be useful for automated ships. Mostly, mostly it's not going to be useful because it's going to be hard to build yeah, walls. Some this is you know, I can build doors here, 
and they're gonna act like block. And here I have hatch, which have some health, and also item which will uh, take one bullet. And when this item is uh, hit, it's gonna be ejected. And this uh, box can also take some damage. So it can be, I don't know, maybe good or not, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so that's it for this series. See ya in next part, next part or next movie. See ya.